Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And by the title, you already know what I want to talk about. I want to talk about when shit happened. And the reason why it happens. For, you know, I'm only given, I'm only basing it off of my experience, but I know that everybody is going through it, you know? If they haven't reached a certain uh, realm, then we're all going through it, right? So, um, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so let's just start by saying why. Why does why does most of this stuff happen to us? You know, like someone wrote me, and it is called chaos. It's called chaos and and just destruction and all that stuff. So there's several reasons. One is stuff sometimes you just can't control, right? Sometimes you just cannot control it. But the number one, which is strange and hard for anybody to understand or believe, is you. Number one reason is you. Number two, I feel, is things that are out of your control, that the universe throws your way unbeknownst to you. But your higher self is always in control. But there are things that you cannot control. Number two. Number three is demons. Those benevolent spirits, those individuals who souls are fragmented, those individuals severely fragmented, those individuals who have no souls, those individuals that are not human. Then the next one was um, energy on the planet. The energy on the planet is different and everything is changing at a rapid pace. So if we understand that everything is energy, then you understand, you know, where I'm coming from, that that could be a part of it. But what I want to look at and focus on is our intuition. Shit happens because we're not using our intuition. We could tap into our intuition and some of the things that happens to us, we can alleviate. alleviate. We, can, we can do... We can eliminate. Alleviate and eliminate. Same, same. But I was thinking of something else. But the reason why I say this is because a lot of people are not going to understand that the intuition is necessary and it is needed to live in this world. There's two ways of looking at this, right? Since we're going to stick with the intuition, you, the intuition. Um, there's two ways of looking at this. One being inside of the world. One being outside of the world. Inside of the world, you're inside of the matrix. And you can look at it as them damn demons. Those people that I just spoke of. Or outside of the world, you can look at spiritual. And using your intuition and lessons that are being taught and thrown at you. That you probably need to grasp and work with. Right? And I am going to definitely go with the spiritual. But for other individuals, you can look at it with the names that I just mentioned. If you're inside of the world, you're going to be dealing with those reptilians. You're going to be dealing with the, the ETs. You're going to be dealing with benevolent spirits. You're going to be dealing with people with no souls. You're going to be dealing with all those individuals. And those individuals will throw stuff your way to make your world confused, to make your world chaotic. Right? That will definitely happen. Definitely. But now let's take ourselves out of the world because remember in the Bible, you are supposed to be in the world, not of the world. And that's where the spiritual part comes in. If we're constantly inside of the world, we're going to constantly be attacked. We're going to constantly be looking, pointing the fingers at and blaming these individuals, right? Because as I look at, you know, inside the matrix or inside of the world, I can say that, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to do X, Y, Z. I wanted to put up videos. I wanted to um, finish my challenge, I, well, which I did finish my challenge, but I wanted to finish it on here. And, you know, PayPal was shut. Let me tell you everything that took place. PayPal was shut down for me. Um, you know, it not shut down. I got locked out. So I got locked out. My internet was turned upside down. My, um, my computer was turned upside down. Uh, what else took place? Uh, several, oh, they took away my group, my group 
for transformed individuals. They took that away from Facebook. Then what else happened? I'm without a refrigerator. I'm without a refrigerator for several months. I'm without hot water for several months. On top of that, I got devastating news. Um, remember the news that I was telling you guys about? That was that was gut ranching news, right? And I gained all of my weight back. More gallons is appearing all over my face because, you know, I'm I'm beside myself. I've I've stepped off my path. I've stepped off my path and you know wanting to do videos on a certain specific day and not able to do a fucking video pisses me off right it really everything angers me that had taken place and I'm trying to I'm trying to work with it I'm trying to work with it the best way I can and the best way I can is getting in Let me go back. All of this stuff was taking place. So much has happened. On top of that, I'm trying to get prepared for a tenant. You know, I'm revamping this house. I'm remodeling this house to get prepared for a tenant. Um, and then I plan on, you know, I wanted to go outside of the country in a, a couple of weeks. Just have a little short visit somewhere. It's just so many things that I've, I've wanted to do that I am, you know, that things are stopping me from doing it. So I look at inside the world, I look at the demons as trying to show me as being incompetent, you know, not being able to form, to, to perform and stuff like that. I look, if I look at it that way, but I know better not to look at it that way because regardless of incompetent for who, who am I, who am I doing these videos for? Am I doing them for you? Am I doing them for me? I'm doing the videos for me. So I don't feel... I have to keep in mind because they would have got me. I, you know, I, I tried to put up some videos and it was uh, hard to do. I couldn't do it. I it took two days. I was so frustrated. The videos were upside down. It was 10 hours of footage. I was so angry. I dropped a few tears because I was just, I was overwhelmed. And then on top of that, not being able to put up those videos back in the day. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't want to look incompetent back in the day. No, because my mindset is um, trying to strive for perfection or, you know, my mindset is inside the world. And, and if these people are, how will they think of me? What will they think of me if I don't put, you know, if I don't do what I'm told, I'm not a woman of my word. That's what I was thinking about. And I was like, this is beyond my control. F that I am not doing it. I'm you know, I'm not going to, I am, I am frustrated. I'm wasting these tears and emotions. Who are these videos for anyway? I put them up for myself in hopes of reaching someone else. But if this is outside of my control, then I am not going to stress over it any longer. And I just let it go. And if anybody is in that situation, not to say that you are a YouTuber, but hopefully you will be. But if you're in that situation with anything else, you're going to have to start letting these things go. So, um, I can say inside of the world, they tried to make me look incompetent. That's what they tried to do with a whole bunch of other stuff along with emotions and feelings and, and, um, just a whole bunch of stuff. But I take myself outside of the world and now I'm looking at it spiritually. I'm looking that had I been using my intuition and not taking myself off my path when you're on your path and your path it doesn't have to be don't look at it as spiritual it is what it is but if some people don't like to refer to it as spiritual but when you're on your path you're using your intuition part of your path is using your intuition if you're not doing what you're supposed to do like is your intuition telling you to quit that job? Is your intuition telling you to quit that relationship? Get away from those bad friends? Is your intuition telling you to um, move out of the state, out of the city, out of the country, out of your apartment, out of your old environment? What is your intuition telling you to do that you're ignoring? And when you ignore your intuition, things happen to make your world chaos, to make your world chaotic, to make your destruction, to make your world um, impossible to live with until you start listening to your gut and when you start listening to your gut things in your life 
run smooth. But it's that point when you get all flustered and angry and upset and you can't control your emotions is when you start to step outside of yourself and you start to do old things, old have old habits. That that you start to do things that no longer serve you. And you right back in a vicious cycle of doing the things that no longer serve you. You're not using your intuition. You're not sitting still and being quiet and listening to what your intuition has to tell you. And and you don't necessarily have to be quiet, but if you ask yourself a question, whatever the answer is, that's probably that pops up, that's probably what you need to go and do and not ignore it. So, so much had happened, boy, so much had happened, and I just didn't know. It's like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be doing this YouTube channel, making, you know, videos as often as I can, and and I just, there's some things that I had no control over, but what we need to know is that there's some things you have no control over, and you need to sit with the things that you do have control over, and make sure you're using your intuition. Like, say, for instance, if you need to scream scream when you when things are so intense screaming releasing some of that energy can help you or get away get out of your get out of the environment or the situation that you're in for a moment and go somewhere else a new environment will definitely do you some good for the moment if you've got children drop the if you have support drop the children off go to a hotel stay for a day or go back to your house and stay for a day. Make a little spa bath, you know. But deal with those issues that you can deal with. Journal. Write things down. Writing down stuff helps a lot. Think about it. Is there a lesson inside of the destruction that's going on in your life? Is there a lesson to be learned? Like I said before, are you ignoring your intuition? There's some crucial decisions that you need to make that you've been ignoring that need to be done downsizing do you live in a big house that's over that that's out of your what is it called what am I trying to say you can't afford there it is you can't afford my brain is just not working today are you living above your means downsize do you need to live in your, do you need to live in, like I have an RV, do you need to live in an RV for a minute? Do you need to live in a car for a minute? A van? Whatever the case may be. I bought a van to live in. I was going to travel the world in my van. I bought an RV to live in. But I was guided to do something else. So, we need to take I feel when I get off of my path and don't use my intuition, things go chaotic. We need to take some time and sit down and write these things down and see what happened. I've gained my weight back. I can't, my contact lenses won't go in my eyes. It's like, what the hell is going on? If everything could go wrong at one time, it did. But I'm reminded, like, what am I doing? Like everything, it's like one thing right after another. Because I got distracted with the devastating news, my dad coming down, my sister having a baby. So many things was taking place. I got off my path and started focusing on those things. Making sure my father's okay because I love him so much. But we need to be reminded to get back on that journey, continue to follow our intuition. And there's other things that we need to do, but the intuition is definitely one of them. We're ignoring things that need to be dealt with and in return your higher self the universe will give you things that you do not want to deal with so take some of those you know suggestions getting away writing analyzing is there a lesson let go of things that do not serve you use your intuition job relationships friends family drop them if they need to be dropped clear your head your environment get rid of the dead things in your life 
and analyze each situation that you're dealing with, okay? All right, I love you guys. Take care.